Hey, hi, hello, friendos. We're back with another Emily is Away 2, this time chapter 2, Autumn 2006. I'm really excited. Like, I really like this game a lot, and I hope you guys do too. So let's just jump right on in. If there is no love in the world, we will make a new world, and we will give it walls and a knocker that resonates so softly that we will never hear it. Jonathan Safran Fower. Forward. I'm gonna assume that's forward. I don't know. Names. Anyways, let's do this. Friday, October 13th. Oh, it's Friday the 13th. Senior year. Okay, so I'm interested to see what's happened since summer to fall. Ooh, I have to pick a new icon. I literally don't recognize any of these except for Casita Royale. Did that come out in 2006? Wow, that movie's old. I kind of want to pick it. Scrubs, The Wire, Cheeseburger Cats. I think I'm going to go with Casino Royale. Got to rock that Bond life and then Snow Patrol because I'm keeping up my little alternative music thing. Take my hand, not your fingers through mine. We'll walk from this dark room for the last time. Snow Patrol. Borat, The Departed, Final Destination 3. I'll do The Departed. I don't want to be a product of my environment. I want my environment to be a product of me. Deep. That's actually true though for me. Destroy what destroys you. No, that's bad. The best is yet to come is much better. Don't destroy what destroys you. That's a very negative attitude to have. Okay, I'm gonna change this to so that looks rad. I'm gonna keep the cyan though. I've always gotta have a little touch of that cyan because that was my life. Both people are online. Ooh, uh oh, now who do I talk to first? Oh, and my font's still weird on this one. I wanna keep it the way my bio is. Okay, I'm gonna start with Emily because I like Emily. Yo dog. I'm gonna say hey though because that's what I do. Oh, and hers has changed. Let's check out her bio too. Ooh, it's Sigur Ross. I love Sigur Ross. Okay. Jumping into puddles, completely soaked. My nose began to bleed, but I got up again. Soft breath, beating heart as I whisper in your ear. I want to tear you apart. <laughs> what? <laughs> Emily, are you, are you feeling okay? Are you doing all right? Oh, she responded. Hey, Lauren, what's up? Um, I mean, I'm obviously not doing homework. I'm talking to you. Listen to music. Oh, I guess because it's fall now, so we would be doing homework. Yeah, we'll say homework, even though that's kind of boring. Punk Forever's typing too. Ooh, okay, so like you said hello to Emily, but that means Evelyn's got to initiate the conversation. Lauren, how is you? I'm good. I'm doing all right. How are you, Evelyn? I'm interested to see like how the conversations go now, like with things progressing and stuff. Not too much, just got home from Kelly's. Who's Ke is Kelly Kelbells? Hoodies, bonfires, cuddling, fall. XOXO, 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 XOXO. That's a lot of hugs and kisses, Kelly. Wow. Maybe chillax. Senior year checklist, go to prom, get my license. Oh, congrats on your license. I wish you could talk to these people too, that'd be cool. Do something illegal. Kelly, no. <laughs> Stay safe, girl. <gasps> It says Emily, my starlight. Does that mean they're like, they're still going strong? Oh no. Okay, hey, do you know what today is? It's Friday! And Emmer's messaged me. I feel like if I like wait too long, they're gonna freak out. And like now I have to juggle both of them at the same time. This is stressful. Not too much to go home. Um, what did you two do? I've gotten the hang of the typing now, so I won't complain about that so much. No, it's Friday the 13th. Ooh. Happy Friday the 13th! See, this seems so sarcastic. I don't want to be like that. I want to be like, happy Friday the 13th! Not like, well, happy the 13th, lol. I'm so boring. Ooh, I didn't read hers either. She changed. Oh, there's a YouTube link. I can't click on any of those though because my screen capture won't get it. So like you guys won't see. So you have to play the game for yourself in order to see it. I'm stuck in a coma, stuck in a never ending sleep. Someday I will wake up and realize I made up everything. That's kind of 
depressing, Evelyn. <laughs> oh, well, happy Halloween, because it's October. That's like one of my favorite months. And then the little blue letter spell asleep. I see, I'm on to you, game. I see your hidden messages. Shit, my mom's calling me for dinner, but I'll be on later. Talk to you then. Okay, see ya! Don't skip dinner! Wow, skip dinner just to talk to me? Jeez. Okay. Ooh, I just got two messages at once. Whoa. What do you want to do to celebrate? Bob for apples? Nothing. I'm gonna do black magic, obviously. Definitely some black magic. Bye! Shut your eyes, I'll spin the big chair. Maybe I'll be back later. Remember when, like... Because now you don't really have to say BRB because like usually you're texting people now but it used to be like be back later or BRB like anytime you went like away from your computer. It's kind of weird that like we don't really say that anymore. Like people say like BRB but they don't like really like even type it anymore. I feel like more people say it than type it. I don't know. Things are weird. AIM was like a culture <laughs> at one point. Yo same! I'm so happy it's fall. It's like my favorite season. Oh it's mine too! Evelyn we have so much in common. But fall's the best, like sweaters and like cold air and like the leaves change. It's lovely. Mine too, Evelyn. I want to put like six exc exclamation points. Are you gonna dress up for Halloween? Um, heck yes. I hope she doesn't think that's lame. Oh, cool, she doesn't. Okay. Awesome sauce. Me too. Jackie's having a big Halloween party. Who's Jackie? She keeps talking about Jackie, but I don't know who that is. Like, I know Kelly, obviously. We're friends. Mattatat. I don't know who that is. And, like, Jeff, Emily's boyfriend. But, like, I want Jack- what's Jackie's username? I'm looking at costumes now. What do you think I should go as? When was- 2006 was, like, the new Alice in Wonderland out because I wanted to be Alice in Wonderland one year because, like, that new Alice in Wonderland came out. When did that come out? It was, like, 2010, wasn't it? It was probably, like, way later. But I'm still gonna pick that because Alice in Wonderland. I I mean like a witch is like cliche and I don't even sexy nurse, I'm not gonna pick that one. Whoa, no way! I was actually trying to decide between Alice in Wonderland and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, you should totally be Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. That's more unique than Alice in Wonderland. Oh, she's sending me links. And I wanna click on them, but like they won't show up in my screen capture, so like it doesn't make any point for you guys. You'll just have to see it. Buy the game, you can watch. <laughs> Which she thinks I already said Sally, you gotta be Sally. Sally's awesome. Cause Alice in Wonderland, like I feel like Sally's like more unique. I miss Emily. Come back, Emily. Eat dinner faster. <laughs> Jackie's parties are oh that's what I was thinking. I'll go pick it up tomorrow. I almost didn't read that one. Jackie's parties are always crazy. You can probably expect more drunk texts. Uh oh. Those last ones were a real humdinger there, Evelyn. I guess I'll say, hey, I'm down. I'm not gonna judge your lifestyle, I'm gonna do you. Just try to spell better this time, she's drunk. <laughs> Whatever, I wanna look at mine too. Oh, see, I like that, that looks cool. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. I think I still have some of those locked on my phone from this summer, lol. IDK, how you understand any of them. Honestly, I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna say you have them saved because like, why should you save them? lol like this one. Oh, is it, gonna, is it gonna be a link again? Oh no, okay, cool. Good. You guys can see this. <laughs> Sorry. OMG, we thinks Jackie's roof thigh now and starts nerver flooded so beautiful. So beautiful. You think Jackie's high now? No, that's not- I mean, it's longer than that. Jackie's roof starts to flood. How does a roof flood? And starts never flooded so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna assume that it's the stars never looked so beautiful just because the other ones don't really make any sense. You got it, damn, I'm impressed, lol. I mean, I try my best. Wow, I mean, honestly, it's a miracle. What? <laughs> Hey, maybe you should just come to the party. Do you drink? Ooh, I don't, Evelyn. I want, but I want to be, <laughs> I want to go to the party. So I kind of want to be like, yeah, sometimes. I mean, I want to go to a Halloween party and have an excuse to dress up. I'm going to pick two. Yeah, 
that's honest. Let's let's lean on the side of caution. Aw, Sansy. Oh, Aw, me and Evelyn are gonna be best friends. This stinks though because I like Emily too, and I don't want like. Is it gonna be like I have to pick between best friends? Like I want, or dating or whatever it ends up being. Like, I don't. I don't want to give up either of them. They're both such cool people. Sometimes, yeah, not too much. Same here. What's your favorite? Um, I guess wine. Me too, we're so classy. Yeah, we are, girl. This is fun, <laughs> I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. Would you want to come to the party? Ooh, okay, wait, but if I like say yes, does that mean like I'm gonna lose out on plans with Emily? Guys, I'm scared, wait, hold on. I, <laughs> I don't want to make a commitment. Should I say maybe? Cause I don't want her to think that I like don't want to go either. This is like weirdly stressful. <sighs> I'm just gonna... I don't wanna say maybe because I don't want her to... I'm gonna say maybe and then maybe she'll like try to like convince me to go. Oh, but that seems so has I'm scared. Oh no. How can a game like based in like basically just text like make me like... I, like I'm like genuinely nervous because I want to like do everything right and I don't want to like get a bad ending or whatever. I don't even know if this has multiple endings. The only rule is you have to dress up. What would you go as? Ooh, we could twin. I kind of want to pick that, but I don't want her to, I don't know. Oh no. Okay. Should I pick the Jack Skellington one? I kind of want to just because I want to see what her reaction would be. I'm gonna do it. Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, cool. She's cool with it. Okay, cool. <laughs> That'd be awesome sauce. Wow, she really likes that word, doesn't she? We'll take some pictures together. I'll add you to the event page. Oh wait, are we friends on Facenook? 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 Did they introduce that in the last one? I don't think so. I don't, maybe? I don't remember. I don't think we're friends with Facebook. Oh. Then friend me when you get a chance. Yeah, will do. I will. I will totally friend. <gasps> oh, but you guys aren't people. Oh well, I'm clicking on it anyway. Whoa, my FPS just dropped like crazy. Okay, like, oh, you guys aren't gonna be able to see this and it's gonna pause, so I'm just gonna. Okay, we back, don't worry about it. Okay, face snook. Halloween party. Isn't like Halloween already, why is it glitching like that? Is that showing up for you guys? That was really weird. Yeah, Jackie's a tool. <laughs> Someone just logged off. Okay, sorry, I got the noises just like trigger memories of like other people so I immediately know that like someone's logging on or logging off. So what are you up to now? I said homework to Emily. Uh so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep consistent, I'm not gonna lie. Because let's pretend like I'm doing homework. Oh sorry, I haven't been reading her things. Just listening to music. Census Fell just came out with a new album. You must be so excited. I know that's your favorite band, Evelyn. I feel like so basic the way I'm treating her. I don't mean it like that. I just mean it like overreaction, I guess. It's been on repeat all day. Oh, that's cute. I can't click on the links. This is just more incentive for you guys to like check it out so you can see all the links. They're actually really cute though because like basically the creators of the game like made their own versions of like YouTube and Facebook and it's like adorable but that's just an element that you'll have to discover for yourself. Okay, I bet you'll like it because punk's your favorite. Punk isn't my favorite and I told her punk isn't my favorite. Or no, I did, no, I told her punk was my favorite and I told Emily alternative was my favorite. This is what happens when you lie to your friends. I'm not lying though, I really genuinely like both genres. I bet you like it because punk is my favorite. Okay, should I say awesome sauce? <laughs> no, I'm gonna say this is really good. Awesome sauce is your catchphrase, Eva. I'm not gonna take that from you. <laughs> I'm so glad you like the same music as me, Colin P. Seriously, you're pretty swell. 
You're pretty swell too. Gosh darn, what a swell gal. I really like talking to you. I really like talking to you too, Evelyn. It's okay, I guess. I'm gonna say I like it too. Cause I do, this is fun. But I do miss Emily a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm really glad we sat next to each other in history last year, lol. Although I feel like there's a lot about you I still don't know. I'm an open book. Ask me anything. See, you should be able to put a winky face. <laughs> Cause that's exactly what I would do. Me too, I have an idea. Let's play a game. Uh oh. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> if I say no, I don't think I have an option. This is a video game. They're not gonna like, let me get out of this. Sounds fun. I'm kind of nervous what she's gonna ask though. Just ask what comes to mind first. If you take too long, it'll just be my turn again. Oh no, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. No, I'm gonna say absolutely. I don't want her to like think that I'm like hesitating for any of this because like I want her to like be my friend and not think that I don't think that she's a grand human. I'll start with an easy one. Do you remember my favorite kind of movie? I do. It was horror. Evelyn will remember that. Ooh, has it been doing that and I haven't been noticing? Where it says Evelyn will remember that? Yup, yup. I knew you'd remember smiley face. Now it's your turn. Quick, ask me on the- Oh my gosh, it's actually timed. <gasps> um, favorite dessert. Ooh, that timer puts the pressure on. Notice how I like sat up in my chair. Brownies and I- <gasps> No way, that's my favorite dessert too. It's that and apple pie. And I'm not even kidding, like in real life, brownies and ice cream and apple pie are like my two favorite things. Okay, now let's see. Have you ever snuck out of your house? I actually haven't. <laughs> but I want to seem cool. <laughs> in real life, I'm a nerd, but in this game, I can be a little bit less nerdy, right? So I'm gonna say, yeah, a few times. Not that like sneaking out of your house makes you seem cool, but this is that kind of game where you like, you gotta be a little bit edgy. Oh shit, you badass. Your turn again. Ooh, is it my turn? I'm gonna say skip class because that's interesting. And she asked about sneaking out and skip class is similar. Yeah, lol, but only when I have a pretty good reason to. Same! Alright, let's get serious. Do you have a crush on anyone? In real life, no. In the game, ooh, should I like have a crush on someone in the game though? See, I don't know the actual plot of this game. Cause I like, I watched the first version. I didn't play the first version, but like I've seen it on YouTube. And I know it was like kind of like you had a crush on Emily. And I don't know if I'm supposed to have a crush on Evelyn too. So it's like, do I still have a crush on Emily? Or nah. I guess I'm gonna say I don't know yet because I don't know yet. <gasps> oh, scandalous. I wonder who it is. Shh, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna say, have you ever been in love? That's a more fun question than like, do you have a crush? Oh my gosh, it's like the timer's running out and it's just because it takes forever to type. Unfair, that's like two questions in one. Come on, no it's not. Or should I just only answer the first one since she's being like that? Mm, I'm gonna say only. Mm, no, I regret it now because I wanted to answer both. Oh well, I'm committed. I didn't think it through. You're a cheater, but I'll answer both. Good, she's gonna be diplomatic. I appreciate that, Evelyn. I guess it's kind of a long story. Isn't that a movie title? It's kind of a long story. I think it is. I got time. I got nothing but time. <laughs> yeah, cause like I'm doing homework. <laughs> is that a song? Why did she repeat what I said? <laughs> Do you, <laughs> I got all the time in the world, squiggly. What are those called? I don't remember and I won't remember. I forget things when I'm playing video games. Steve Myers, you know him, right? Fake ID guy. <laughs> I'm gonna say Swank A to Swank because I think that's his. Well, let's find out if that's his username. It doesn't say their names. Okay, it's fine. Wow, his looks dark and really creepy. Still searching, I won't be saved. What did you expect from me? Just try to forget me and move on. Ooh, is this, is this who she, cause this is like, 
I don't have love left inside, so take what I left you for the pain and do your best to forget my name. Oh my gosh, is that literally about her? Oh, um, this is getting juicy. Why is this game, it's literally like 100% fictional, but I'm like invested. Yeah, me and him dated for a lot of my sophomore and junior year. It got pretty serious and I think I, I definitely think I loved him. Oh, she has been in loved, in loved, in love. Then he was going off to college, so he broke up with me last winter. That's so sad. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Evelyn. Breakups are like, bad. Aw. Oh, it's okay, it's more confusing than anything. Okay, as long as she's not like really upset. That would make me so sad. <laughs> like, I'm getting over him, it's just weird, lol. Getting over him? I mean, we're over. But the feelings die now. Oh. When it worked, we were a really good couple. I'm gonna ask if he loved her. Because I asked if she'd ever been in love, but I'm curious if he loved her. I mean, judging by his, like, profile, he obviously had feelings for her. Or maybe he didn't and he just wants her to move on. Yeah, I think he did. Oh, this is like kind of heartbreaking. Like he was the first person I ever had sex with. Oh wow, that does make things kind of complicated. Let's see if she's had any relationships since him. Not that like jumping into another relationship is the best way to get over someone. I really do think that like you need time by yourself, but I'm just curious. <clears throat> Man, this is getting serious. I mean, in, I had like a fling this past summer, but nothing as serious as Steve, obviously. Is it still going on? Cause you said like, it's complicated. So does that mean like you- Oh no, that's definitely over. Okay. So you single and ready to mingle. I'm sorry. <laughs> we fooled around, but like, it was fun, not serious. I mean, sometimes that's good, I guess. Well, and if you don't mind me asking, have you ever had sex? Ooh, wow, this is really getting deep. I don't know. What does kind of mean? You've either had sex or you haven't. I'm gonna say no, I haven't. Okay, well, you can still understand what I mean. Yeah, I like understand, obviously. <laughs> Man, this is some deep stuff. And I thought like me and Evelyn weren't even that close. So it's like pretty nice of her to like trust me with all this like story about her. Not a lot of people know, but me and Steve had these plans for our future. So being together felt like a big deal. What kind of one? Of what kind of plans and like what do you mean is kind of the same question. It's gonna sound really stupid, don't judge me. Of course not. So I thought we'd go to the same college together. And then maybe, I don't know, get married, start a family, whatever. Oh, that's so sweet. That's not stupid. Don't think that that's dumb. It just feels silly now thinking about it. Yeah. I mean, but it's not wrong to do- cause like, you date people- I mean, at least I do. You date people with the intention that like, maybe they're like, the one, you know? So it's like, it totally makes sense that if you were dating someone, like, you would plan a life with them. Especially if it was like, for a long period of time. You know, so it's not silly to like, I don't know, like feel weird about, I mean, it's, it's understandable to feel weird about that after, but it's not silly. I think that's why it's been so hard to get over the breakup. I understand that. I mean, that plan doesn't need Steve, but obviously she imagined it with Steve. So I don't want to say that. So I'm going to say I understand that. I totally get where you're coming from, Evelyn. I feel for you, girl. I wish I could give you a hug, but alas, this is just through the computer. Also, you're a fictional character in a video game, but details. <laughs> I think I still want that future even without Steve, but maybe that's silly. That's not silly! Aw, oh, at 
least like I'm being really positive and nice about it because sometimes some of these options are like really mean it's just that I think people think it's stupid when I talk about it it's not all oh, that man I almost want to say fuck those people <laughs> I don't think it's stupid it's also your life all of these are true all three of those I wish I could pick all three what should I pick okay I'm gonna say I don't think it's stupid because like I'm like sympathizing with her, you know? See, I wanna do the little heart. I genuinely like wanna hug her, I feel. Thanks, Lauren. You really made me feel a lot better. Aw. What are your plans after college? Do you want a family? I do want a family, but not like right after college. This is in real life and in the game. <laughs> I'm gonna say sure I think I do because I don't want to be like yeah I definitely want a family like because I want to take my time like college job family no college job dog family <laughs> I also want to travel I don't know life's short you got to cram a lot in <laughs> Right, I'm so glad you don't think it's weird. Do people really think it's weird to like want a family after college? I mean, maybe nowadays, cause that's not so much the norm. I don't know. I feel like I sound silly when I talk about it. Girl, you need to stop saying that. You really don't. Should I say you shouldn't see if it's, I'm gonna say it's not weird at all. It's not, cause I don't, do you guys think that's weird to like want a family after college? I mean, not right after college. Cause you're like 22 when you graduate college and that's still really young. But like late 20s, early 30s, getting married, having kids, that's like normal, I think. Hey, I just remembered, it's still my turn to ask you a question. Oh, are we Are we still Are we still playing the game? I mean, all right. Ooh, Matatat's online. Sup, Matatat, that's a good name. Oh, here's a good one. Would you ever date someone like me? Ooh, see, this is where it's like, Am I supposed to want to date her? I mean, we were good as friends. I mean, yes, I would date someone like you, Evelyn. <laughs> You're pretty, I deleted cool and put, sw is swell a better option than cool? I just want to be nice. Like, I don't want her to like feel bad. Aw, LOL, you're swell too. Same question. <gasps> I erased it. Oh, wimped out. I mean, she asked the same question. You shouldn't hesitate about asking the same thing. Yo, what were you gonna say? I saw you delete some shit. Yeah, you're on to me, Evelyn. Same question. <sighs> Man, I'm a wimp in this game. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, at least I asked it. Punk rock is your favorite. And we have the same life plan. Hey, it's looking good for us. But you haven't been in a serious relationship, true. So I don't know, maybe. Was that an option for me? Was I allowed to say maybe? I don't remember. You're a really good friend and I don't want to lose that. Me neither. Oh wow, it's getting late, huh? I mean, not in real life, but maybe in the game. And I still want to shower before bed. See, in real life, I'd say you do you, but I don't want her to think I'm dismissing her. I'm saying it anyway. <laughs> That's what I'd say. <laughs> Gotta be myself. Yeah, I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna go, but tonight was really fun. It was. We should do this again. It was I. <laughs> I'm torn. It really was, or should, should do this again. I'm gonna say should do this again, because I love questioning games like this, even in real life. Ooh, she didn't say the same thing. <gasps> I'm just gonna say bye then, girl. Fine, bye. Nah. <laughs> Is that it? I sense there's something in the wind that feels like tragedies at hand, Sally. Oh, Emily's online. <gasps> Hey, sorry about that. You left me. Should I say that one? Oh, God. <laughs> Being gutsy with Emily. 
because we have similar music tastes in real life. I like punk rock too. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm an indecisive. Oh, you're fine. Oh, she's like teasing me back. So what were we talking about? Oh, Kelly's, yeah, she showed me the site Face Nook. Do you know it? Yeah, I do. Only for college, oh yeah. Because originally Facebook was just meant for colleges. Wow, do you guys even know that? Like back when Facebook is, it was invented, it was like literally just like on the campus. So like people would get in touch. I mean, that's what Facebook is used a lot for now still. That's so cool. Don't, there's so many questions, don't get any wrong. Okay, sorry, I gotta read what she's saying. Oh cool, I'm setting up mine now. There's just so many questions. Should I say they don't matter too much? Cause they don't. Or should I say don't get any wrong? I'm gonna tease her because she teased me early. Earlier. Wow, that's pretty harsh though. I like changing my like font. I know I did it way earlier, but it's fun to change my font. It was fun when I was a kid too. Oh no, okay, last part. I have to write a status? What should I write? Emily is boring. No, that's mean. I'm gonna say Emily's talking to me, cause that's what we doing. Haha, <laughs> okay, I can work with that. There, it's finally done. I bet it's awesome. Cause you're awesome, Emily. <laughs> Don't make fun of it. I, I literally said it was awesome. <laughs> oh, I can see it. I won't click on it though, because it will pause my recording. Um, nice status. Cause she obviously wrote about me. Duh. Haha, <laughs> 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 yeah, I thought you'd like that. I love the colon key face. Although like back when I had AIM, we had like actual emoticons. Like you would type those and then it would turn into an emoticon. You should send me a friend request when you get the chance. See, I don't like the like negative responses. Actually, it would be kind of fun to play this whole game and then play it with a negative, like pick all the worst answers so like both of them hate you. <laughs> of course I will. Stay in, probably stay up late. Sounds good. Oh, she just went away. Why'd you leave me? Oh. Oh, she's being sneaky. I used to do that whenever I got in a fight with my friends. I would like go away, but I would like keep talking to my other friends. Girl, I'm on to you. There also used to be a way where you could literally log off. It, would, it was called like invisible mode or something like that. So it would literally be like you're offline and then you could still message people that you wanted to. That was so petty. Like what if you could do that with text? I mean, I guess you could. And like, if you have your read receipts off, I guess that's kind of like the modern day equivalent of it, like turning your read receipts off. So people don't know if you saw your me their message and stuff and just like blatantly ignoring texts. But what if you could, I mean, I guess that you can, I don't know, but it's like, cause that was so sneaky back then. Her away message is if seeing is believing, then believe that we have lost our eyes. That's weird. And she said, don't worry, I'm still here. Hiding from someone? I'm on to you, Emily. I know your game. I've been there. Haha, <laughs> 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 you caught me. I just don't want to talk to some people. Ten bucks, it's Jeff. Do I have to beat someone up, Emily? Just press it, pressing the same key. <laughs> No, haha, Jeff's just kind of being an ass, so I do have to beat him up. I never liked him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry though, that stinks. I like the use of emoticons. We're really getting in there with that emoji, as they're called now. Oh, it's okay, I don't know. Maybe I'm being bitchy tonight or something. No, don't put it on you, it's probably them. <laughs> Not to me. Ooh, I'm, I'm Snoopy, what do you say? I mean, it's true. <gasps> she sent me the chat log. Girl, we about to spill some tea. <laughs> Just don't show anyone. Who would I show? I promise. I'm 
memory response of some chat log. Accept file. Ooh, I remember when you could like accept file. And it's downloading. Did it actually go to my desktop? Oh, <gasps> it did. What? It's gonna pause the recording. So hold on, we'll pull this up so you guys have something to look at. And I'm gonna read what he said to y'all. So Jeff says, hey, Emily. Emily goes, hey, what's up? Not much, you? Nothing much. So when are you coming over? And then Emily goes, I don't know if I can tonight. I have a lot of homework to do. Jeff says, you can just do it here. She says, it's like project kind of stuff. I really don't think I can come. And he goes, oh, come on, Emily. We've had this plan all week. She goes, I know, I'm sorry. He goes, are you really not gonna come over? I had a whole night planned for us. She says, I don't think I can. And then he gets mad. He goes, holy shit, are you serious? WTF, Emily? She goes, look, I'm sorry, okay? I told you that it might not work out. And he said, I didn't think you were effing serious. She says, well, I was. He goes, I really can't believe you. She goes, I think I'm going to go. Sure, whatever. Emily is away. That is some drama. Oh my goodness. I did get it. I definitely got it. <laughs> Yikes. I don't know, do you think I was out of line? I mean, let's analyze this. You were like, I have homework to do. And he was like, I'm so mad at you, Emily. Bye. So no. <laughs> Not really. I mean, unless you were lying about the homework. I mean, not really. If anything, I think he was. Yeah, I do think he was. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want to go over tonight. Sometimes it's hard being there. <laughs> Try to say I understand. <laughs> Why is it hard? My room is freezing. Like, I have goosebumps. I just feel like I'm expected to act a certain way when I'm there and I hate that. The problem's solved though because I can just fake being away and talk to you. <sighs> okay. Maybe this is me because I'm not in high school anymore and I know things are different, but like, if you like have to pretend when you're like over at your boyfriend's house, or if you think that the problem's solved by faking being away and talking to me, that's like bad problem solving skills. I mean, true away messes are the best because yeah, like back when I was in middle school and like we used away, I mean, AIM a lot, I would totally do this and I get it, but it's also like the best solution would be like to be honest with him. I'm always here for you. I mean, cause I am, I am here for her, but like if she were my IRL friend and like we could talk face to face, I would be like, Hey, like you should really be honest with Jeff. Thanks, Lauren, smiley face. Hey, random, random question. <laughs> Do you remember my favorite games? Yeah, they were RPGs. We both love Sims. <coughs> Emily will, ooh, did it do that last time? If it did, I didn't notice. Whoa, you remembered. I'm impressed. How could I forget? It was a couple days ago when I played that. <laughs> Do you remember? Oh, I didn't even see. Do you remember mine? It's RPGs too. Of course I remember. What if I was like, that's not it. Correct. I like, I picked this one because it has a smiley face. <laughs> and you know me, all BFFs. Hey, let's listen to some Sigur Ross together. <gasps> I love them. I noticed that was her background too. Did we read hers? We did, we did. Cause I freaked out about, I don't even know if I pronounced that right, but it's a foreign band, so. Forgive me if I'm horribly mispronouncing it, but I do know them and I do like them a lot. They're like really chill indie alternative stuff. She's gonna send me a link. I'll jam later. I already told you it was great. I was listening to them this morning, actually. <laughs> Yay, let's listen to the album together. I have no idea what the lyrics mean, but their music always makes me feel so happy. Yeah, because their lyrics are in a different language. I don't... Iceland. Are they Icelandic? Is that what it is? I actually really do want to go to Iceland, so I kind of want to pick this one. I'm gonna say it's beautiful though, because I don't want to be like, let's run away to Iceland together, Emily. Let's jump it a little fast. 
yeah, it's really, it, their music is like really gorgeous. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but it, it's a good one. But that's like their most mainstream song. So are you a real fan, Emmers? Hey, Cool Beans, if you, you put Snow Patrol lyrics in your info. I did. Oh, I'm going to thank her for showing me them. Even though I knew about them before, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be cheeky. <laughs> Should I compliment her back or should I just say thanks? I don't want to come on too strong because <laughs> again I don't know if this is meant to be flirty or just BFF situation or if I should just like compliment her and make her feel really good about herself or should I just be like thanks tongue face because that kind of seems dismissive or maybe I should just pick the middle one and be like it's good music I like good music why are these decisions so hard I'm gonna, I'm gonna compliment her right back because it's kind of weird because I don't even know what I would do in real life in that situation. Ooh, have you started applying to colleges? I'm already in college. I'm oh, sorry, in real life. Um, what was this? October? By October, my senior year? Absolutely, I had. I started applying like as soon as you could back when I was in high school because I was paranoid. Oh, wow. So you're on the ball. Haha. -ha, I haven't really started yet. Yikers. Okay. In real life, I applied to both close by and far away, but I ended up going pretty close to home. Kind of. Kind of. I'm gonna say anywhere because I was pretty open. I basically like applied like Eastern Seaboard colleges. <laughs> anywhere that'll take me long. <laughs> kind of true. I don't know. I'd really love to go to school in the city. What city? And I've always thought it would be really cool to live in New York. Oh, New York. <laughs> New York is noisy and loud, but like you'd probably get used to it. It's really expensive. Those are the things I would say in real life, but I'd also want to be supportive. Okay, let's put myself in this mindset. If Emily was my best friend, and I'm assuming that we're best friends, we're, we're gonna be best friends, I would be supportive of her. So I would say that would be cool. I wouldn't want to live that far away though. I don't think. Maybe. I don't know. <sighs> I think I really just want to get out of here and go someplace totally new, you know? See, I have mixed feelings on that because I have... I get how that feels like wanting to escape but like I don't know I've had friends who like went away and like really loved it but I also had friends that like went all the way to New York for school and then ended up moving back home because they really missed home so like it can kind of be a mixed boat I don't really feel the same but I understand I like I think I have like, I want to go places, but I always want to come back home, if that makes sense. That was kind of poetic. <laughs> yeah, I think that could be really grand. She really likes that. Really grand. But I don't know. Planning that far out can be a little silly. I mean, good to have a plan, though. But planning after college? Oh, I didn't realize that I asked a question. I understand that. Do you want to stay in New York after college? She said, yeah, I think that could be really grand, but I don't know. Planning that far out can be a little silly. It is, I mean, I'm in college now, so I'm definitely trying to think about planning beyond college, but it's also hard to think beyond college because so much could change. Man, we're getting into some really deep stuff with both Evelyn and Emily. I just realized both of the names sound kind of similar. Yeah, so much could change, and I really don't see myself settling down anytime soon. Like, right now, I honestly don't even see myself having kids. All of these are kind of similar because they're all just kind of getting at like like you really wouldn't want kids period i guess i'm gonna say why do you say that because i mean i see myself having kids at least someday i just don't see myself wanting a family why not i mean i understand that it, having a family isn't right for everyone i guess but i'm just curious why she feels that way i guess i just want to be able to take life as it comes i think that's a good philosophy. You do you, Emmers. You do you. I 
I think so. Hopefully it works out. How about you? After college, do you want to settle down, like, right after? Not right after. Like, I said this earlier when I was talking to Evelyn. Like, I want to have time to travel and to, like, have a dog and, like, live on my own. Like, I really want to have, like, my own apartment with, like, a cat or a dog and, like, just, like, do a job that I love and make videos. Because, like, once I get my own apartment, like, I want to have, like, my own recording set up and stuff like that. So I definitely want to have some time to, like, not find myself, but, like, be myself wherever I end up after college. But I do eventually want to settle down, have kids, 2.5 kids and a white picket fence, you know? <laughs> like, that's just always been my dream. And, like, I don't know if it's going to work out exactly how I imagine it, but, like, I definitely want that someday. So I guess I'll say I don't think so because I definitely don't want right after college. But especially like once you find that perfect someone, I think it becomes easier to settle down with that person. I don't know. What do I know? Cool beans. I'm so glad you think the same way. I mean, we're not super similar, but we're kind of similar. And if you move to New York too, maybe we'll be roommates. Whoa, girl. <laughs> Did I say I was moving to New York? No, I'm kidding. I'll say maybe. Maybe. But it's like you can't make that kind of commitment to anyone because like she said like you don't know what's gonna happen whenever i talk about new york with jeff he always gets so upset <sighs> okay in real life i would be like girl you and jeff it doesn't sound great because if you have to pretend to be a different person and you talk about your dreams and he gets upset about it like that's not cool you don't want to be with someone like that like you want to be with someone who like understands you and like meets you where you are I'm gonna say that's not fair because that's why I feel like that's literally not cool of him. Yeah, haha, ha. he doesn't want me to go far away. But I think he knows I'd go without him. Would you go without him? You think you'd go without him? Yeah, I guess. He's going through a really tough time. He just wants to be a more serious couple. Do you want that? I mean, if, you're, if your goals for the future don't line up with who you're dating, one of you is gonna have to make a sacrifice or you're gonna have to break up. This is getting deep. Okay, this is pretty personal, so you can't tell anyone. Of course not. Back to what I said to Evelyn. Your secret stays with me and anyone who watches this video. <laughs> Me and Jeff haven't had sex. That's okay. I think he wanted to try tonight or something and his parents aren't home. So that's why he got so mad at you. Is that why you didn't go over or do you want to? I'm gonna ask if she wants to. So I'm not gonna jump to the assumption that that's why she didn't go over. No, I think I'm just not ready for that with him. But it's okay, it's not like he's ever tried anything. Well, that's good. It's just kind of annoying to keep turning him down. See, mom instinct is kicking in and I'm just like, just be careful. <laughs> and also wait until you're ready. Be careful and wait until you're ready. Because you never want to rush into stuff like that. Yeah, but sometimes I feel weird, like I should have done it by now. You're not weird. Everyone moves at their own pace. There's no like set rules for like when you should do stuff. Life is your own, you know? That's exactly what she's the girl in the game said. Me in the game said. Thanks, Lauren. I knew she was gonna ask if I had. And I said no to Evelyn, so I'm saying no to you. Emily will remember that. I see you. Oh cool, then we're in the same boat. We are, Embers. That makes me feel a lot better. Oh, I'm glad I made her feel better. Man, high school can be stressful. I feel that. Because like once you come to college and stuff, I don't know if this will be comforting to you guys at all, but 
and col college really allows you to meet a lot of like diverse and different people and like realize that because when you're at home at least if you go away for college I guess when you're at home you're kind of like you go to elementary school middle school and high school with basically the same set of people unless you move cities or states or whatever or countries depending on where you live in the world but you go to school with the same set of people essentially then you go to college and there's people from everywhere there's people from every country every city every state everywhere and you make new friends and you're living on your own so you really have an opportunity to see that like everyone has led a really different life from you everyone's home life is different everyone's history is different and it just kind of puts everything in perspective whereas like in in middle school and high school everything was like so in the moment and it was so focused on like my life and my friend's life and how everything interacts and like your different relationships with people and then you go to college and it's like you realize that it's the world is a lot bigger than you thought even though you grew up knowing that the world is really big college really puts that in perspective at least it did for me so it's like you realize that like all of these like problems and like situations that you dealt with as a kid are really different once you get older because you realize that like everyone's had their own thing and like some things are worse than the stuff that you've dealt with and th some things are better than the stuff that you've dealt with so it's like all of this stuff where you're like stressing about relationships and like when to have sex and like when to like I don't know like to plan futures with people like in Evelyn's case whereas like it, it puts things in a different perspective I guess so it's like I totally get how she's feeling but it like everything's kind of different as you get older and I guess that's obvious like of course things are going to be different when you get older but just I'm trying to like explain it a little bit better sorry for the tangent if that was totally random and off base but I don't know this this game like really actually makes you feel stuff you know thanks you're such a grand person okay so Emily's thing is grand Evelyn's thing is awesome sauce I'm sorry I stole so much of your night just talking about random stuff I don't mind Kelly's on I guess I really just like talking to you about stuff. Oh, I like talking to you too, Emily. I feel like we're different now, but in a good way. I'm torn between one and two. I'm gonna say I feel that way too. Can I ask you a kind of personal question? What? All the questions you have been asking me weren't personal. <laughs> Why aren't you in a relationship? Girl, I don't know. Why aren't I in a relationship? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't read that, did I? I don't know, I haven't really had the chance. And Emmer says, you s just seem like a great catch. Thanks. Ooh, all of these are like about her. <sighs> I mean, she's teasing me with the tongue face. I'm gonna go right back and tease her with the tongue face. The tongue face, that's weird, sorry. <laughs> oh. A good catch even for you? I mean, from my perspective, alternative. Are you gonna do the same thing oh. Evelyn did? Alternative music is your favorite <laughs> See, I've been catering my life to both of them, so now I'm like perfect for both of them. We have the same outlook on life and we both haven't had serious relationship yet. <laughs> like if I were single, haha, you're a really great person, okay, you should just know that. Is it bad? Are you guys like all secretly judging me because I've basically like tailored it to fit both of them? I mean, I have less in common with Eva. Like we don't like horror movies. I like punk music, but I like lots of types of music so I can say that for both of them you know and then I haven't been in a serious relationship for Eva and that's like a drawback for her so the only thing we have in common is that we both like punk music I guess and then for Emily like everything is on the same but like we don't really have the same outlook in life because I said I don't think so which isn't like a definite yes but this game doesn't let you say like technicalities You're great too. I don't know what this game is setting up though. Like is Emily gonna break up with her boyfriend and then I'm supposed to make a move? Or is like Eva supposed to be with me? Or like what? I like when you use my name. 
but I think we should figure out a nickname. Ooh, I like Emmy. That was random. I wasn't expecting her to say that. That was like a total subject change. I like when you use my name as a really personal thing, you know? Should I do M or Emmy? I would like Emmy, but Emmy is basically Emily, so I'm gonna say M? Millie, what is Millie? Oh, I guess Emily. I'm gonna do Emmy, because I like it better. Emmy, I like it, oh, she likes it too. Ooh. Do you want me to call you something besides Lauren? I mean, I don't actually have a nickname. Like sometimes my friends shorten it to Lore, but that isn't like super catchy. So I'm just gonna say no thanks. I don't want her to take it negatively, but like my name is Lauren and most people call me Lauren, so. Okay then, cool, she was chill with it, good. Oh man, I think I need to get off the computer now. Oh, that's cool that I got to give her a nickname though. That was fun. Is it your bedtime? Nah, my mom needs to look at emails or something. Boo, not cool, mom. You need your own computer, girl. I totally remember that, though. Back in the day when you, like, you had one computer, and then it was, like, what was it? Windows XP. Windows XP, I think. And you had, like, dad, mom, and then, like, you and your siblings, or if it was just you. And then like guests and you all had your little icons and stuff and like you get your computer time and that was it and then you had to go do homework and your parents would get a computer oh my gosh i feel that i did get my own computer eventually though yeah i know i do thanks again for everything oh i would say no worries because that's my catchphrase i always say no worries to people i'll talk to you again soon okay oh i feel like me and emily got really close tonight TYL, babe. Oh, she sent me the heart! Achievement unlocked Automo 6. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that's the end of that one. Oh my goodness. I really feel like me and Emily got closer. I feel like me and Evelyn got closer too, but like more Emily. And like in real life, I have more in common with Emily. That was really fun. This is really exciting. I really love this game and I really love, like, I don't know, just seeing how all your relationships are gonna change. So like now it's gonna be winter and like, is everything gonna be different? I don't know, it's crazy. But that was really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, tap that like button. I just hit my face, whoopsie doopsie. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.